Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sugar Pine D&D Improv Show. Uh, I am your Dungeon Master Parker. Now, I know I may have died, but I am in here as a ghost, a wonderful Dungeon Master ghost, and I have not ever done D&D before. This is going to be very much an improv show, so if you like D&D, this will be very fun for you. If you don't know it at all, we're just going to have fun and, and go through a little campaign together. Uh, so I'm going to introduce our characters as it is today. We have the wonderful, the illustrious K Stephen of Hatred. Dun, 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 dun. And we haven't seen his outfit yet. <clears throat> Where is he? Oh my <laughs> god. god. Lord. Have you been in that this entire time? Yeah. Ah! Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear <laughs> yeah. you. Can you guys hear me? You freak. Yeah, we can hear you. So I couldn't really find uh, <laughs> a costume that would fit the demon of hate or Steven of hatred. <laughs> so Nick had this turtle costume. Hey there, how's it going? I am Stephen of Hatred. Um, I am a 20 foot tall Shura. As you know, a Shura is the physical manifestation of pure hatred. Other than that, I'm just your average guy. And I'm wondering if it's even a good idea to play the Escape from Tarkov demo because it is a Russian made game and I'm worried something sinister will come of it. Our second character is Johnny Tomorrow, played by James DeCangelos. Say it right. Sorry, DeAngelis. <sighs> Whoa! Nice. I was sent back in time from 1985, and I'm just a teenager trying to get my grades up before graduation, but I was sent back in time, and this is heavy. You've always like got, a, you're holding books in your right arm and they're always almost falling oh, out. Like an algebra book. Oh. And then last but not least, we have our epic man, the man himself, the king of Steven. Huh? King of Steve. What's his? <laughs> Sorry, his what? His name is king, king of Steve. Steve is the land that he's, he rules over. His name over. is what? And the person I rule over. I just want to say I come from a long, long history of kings, uh, king of Thorin, king of Boren. King you can't be Steve too, though. Lord and king of Jesus. And then now king of Steve. Have a problem with that? Well, my, my real name's Steve is I'm what I'm- 12 feet tall, 14 eyes all over my face. Sure, man. But the demon of hatred is about like 26 feet tall or something. He's a He's a Shura, he's just pure hatred, and you're King of Steve, so that would make you, if you're King of Steve, my name is Steven of Hatred, roll so that would- Roll for killing him? Don't roll. We're rolling for killing, for killing Steve. No, come on. Uh, assault 13, a slash through the Dude, You can't kill- uh, See you, Steve. No one still kill, kill Steve. So I'm gonna give you a concept of what the world's gonna be, and I'm gonna give you the, the basic rules of what we're gonna follow for that, and most of it's gonna be fun improv, it's just gonna be a show that we're doing. We're following some simple rules. So number one- Wicked is that we are in the medieval land of Levendale. Heroes of Levendale is my card game, and so we're basing the characters and some of the lore and some of the uh, land off of that. And so what we're doing is going through a campaign together, a story, and in the middle of the story is that anybody of the characters, the Stephen of Hatred, King of Steve, or Giant Tomorrow, can make changes, can request things, can say, I attack you, or I fall down, or they can make reference to the characters, and the characters can uh, change the way that the whole story um, ends and the whole story happens. I am now cutting off Judge. Fills his head with a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> we roll for that. A four. Matt, you, you slice your own head off. Uh -huh. So we have dice, and dice is going to be the logic for this. So let's say that Stephen says... Uh, I King of Steve or Stephen of Hatred? Uh, the King of uh, Hatred is attacking King of Steve. We roll for that, and it rolls a 14. So there's, oh, there's one through 14. If it rolls a one, that's very bad. If it rolls a 20, that's very good. And in between that, there are various things that can happen. They have stats and HP and, and damage and dexterity. And we'll kind of go through that. It's not super, super complicated. Um, and we'll go through the story together. So does that all make sense? Hey, yeah. Um, so I play a good amount of Dark Souls. So I'm pretty familiar with classes and stats and things like that. Um, so if I wanted to do a faith build and primarily use miracles as my form of attacks, um, how would I go about doing that? Would I need to pick up a talisman or... I, I think how, how you do that is you just present the idea. If you're like, I want to go and grab a talisman from the corner and raise it up and do a damage, then I would just say what that would be like. I, I like you look for a talisman, you find nothing. Or if it was even there, you'd be like, there wasn't a talisman there, but did you, f you did find peanuts. 
Cool. Um, so now what we have to do is we have to come up with our characters, uh, decide our class for those characters and what those characters do. Now you can die, so you have to be very careful about what decisions you do make. There is HP. If you die, you're out. This might be a long running campaign based on how you guys like it. Uh, so be very careful with your decisions you make. So first up, uh, we have we have two knight classes you can choose from. We also have a dragon class and a bandit class and a wizard class. Um, and those classes have different things that happen in it. In the description, I assume is going to be what those classes are and what those stats are going to be. So uh, uh, who wants to be a knight class? No. There's a there's a bandit, and a bandit is kind of like a ranger, kind of like a thief ranger. A thief ranger. What is his weapon set? Um, it doesn't look like he, he has a longbow right now and a short sword. That's me. So you got a you got a longbow, a short sword. You also have the steel ability. Once per battle, roll a uh, charisma check to use an ability for an ally. So let's say that you want to steal uh, something, then you can roll for that, and you might steal whatever item that is. So that's a pretty cool ability. We have a wizard. Anybody want to be a wizard? We got the, the time traveler man. Um. Hang on, what? I was trying to pull up a color of blue to make it more blue in here. Um, okay, our next class is a wizard class. A magical wand you have. Grant the character a armor class. So that means that you get extra armor. You can grant it to yourself or to any one of your allies. You also have a deflection. Once per battle, you lose your next action to take half damage from an attack. So you wouldn't be able to do the, uh, uh, you would not You would lose a turn, but then you would be able to grant a uh, deflection of that damage. You also have an elemental blast and it's an extra attack. You have an extra attack and you have a lightning sword. It's the power of Tomoe. So I'm a wizard. All right, so do you want to have any kind of uh, ending to it? Wizard anything? Wizard orc? Wizard? Wizard of... Wizard of tomorrow. Parker, I've been waiting for the dragon this whole time. All right, so we have Stephen of Hatred is the dragon. Yeah, boy! You have uh, a claw and you have a bite. Those are your two uh, attack damages. What? Your armor is great with scales. Cool. Um, you have imbued magic and uh, you add magic to the attack to help the attack you. You also have throw magic if combined with the... Uh, if claw imbued with magic. You have a throw magic um, and that does actually a lot of damage. So you're a heavy damage boy. This is gonna be so fucking sick! <laughs> All right, you ready to begin the world of Levendale? Yes. Now your story begins. I'm ready. You walk into a strange office. The man you were sent to meet sits behind an oversized desk amid what appears to be various strange bones, racks, and vials filled with unknown liquids seeping and oozing. Mist fills the air. You smell it what only can be some sort of magical dust. He barely looks up as he gestures to you to come closer with a wave of his hand. <coughs> Character swap number one. This is made for literally children. Well, it fits perfectly. I am Professor Zoinks, wizard and zoologist extraordinaire. I assume you are here, gentlemen, to answer my summons for a retrieval team that will enter the dragon's graveyard near the edge of Infernia, Carthridge, and Sumbriar border. If you could explain exactly what it is that you wanted us to do. No, he's, guys, we are answering his- I thought you gentlemen followed my ad. He had an ad out and we were coming to help him. Right, right. Did you not read my ad? I did. I was the one that, well, I brought the guys here. I brought the guys here. I just gotta let you guys know, like, I'm gonna be late to class. Man, you're not even in that time period anymore. Fuck. You don't have class right now, man. We got a, a whole adventure. I think- well, oh, you think. Now you think. Now he thinks. Guys, I am a busy wizard. I have things to do. Listen carefully. I was honestly hoping that Bobby Creasy might make an appearance, but I suppose you all shall do for now and proves useful enough for the task I have planned. Listen carefully. Just within the border of Infernia, you will find the dragon's graveyard. It is there you will find a dragon's egg. Bring me this egg and I will reward you. Thank you, sir. How do I know it's not my fucking egg? It doesn't matter if it's your egg. We're trying to make some moolah, okay? Yeah, actually, qu uh, quick clarification. How much are you going to offer? Because I have a guy who collects some crazy guy. shit. I got an egg guy, specifically. He always like, wants You have eggs. an egg guy? He has yeah, an egg guy. Yeah, but he's, in, I've he's had this, back yeah. in 85. I have had this ad on, on medieval Facebook for the last six months, and your egg guy hasn't answered it? These eggs are my children, dude. Yeah, they could be yours. I'm one of the only dragons in this land, dude. Keyword, one of. But I'm the only one getting laid. No, you're not, That is dude. untrue. I'm the only one getting laid. Gentlemen, I, you can quarrel amongst yourself another time. I am a busy whizzy, okay? That's what they call wizards around here. <laughs> now, you will find the dragon's egg in the dragon's graveyard, okay? In Infernia. Bring me this egg and I will reward you handsomely with gold and gems if you let me finish, Mr. Whatever your name is, Mr. Tomorrow Boy. Johnny Tomorrow. 
Very easy name. Just clean my glasses real quick. Oh, fuck, dude. I am a busy whizzy. You got to stop saying you're a busy whizzy, man. Come on. Can we have one moment uh, 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 just between the three of us? Yes, please. I will not listen. Okay, Steve of Hatred, Giant. Giant Tomorrow. J- Johnny, Johnny Tomorrow. Johnny My Tomorrow. Johnny. It's not Giant listen. Tomorrow, it's Johnny Tomorrow. Uh, as a king, I propose that we do this. You know what I mean? We need the cash. I'm sure you guys need the cash. Now I have lots of kingdoms, but sure, we could all get the cash. You have now, a lot of kings? <laughs> we have a, lot, I have a lot of kings under my belt. Tremendous amount. Now, <laughs> we just need to figure out where this is. This could be dangerous. This could be something that some of us may lose our lives on. And I'm willing to take that risk. If you're willing Well, you're to the one with the me. charisma. Why don't you see if this guy has any ulterior, ulterior motives? You're the one that has so much right, charisma, okay. right, bro? That's a great right, idea. bro? Okay. King of Steve? You want me to steal from this fucking guy? He's the guy who's going to pay for it. You fucking. have a lot of charisma. Just ask him a question. Like, be be you. Be you. Okay. Be, okay. Use your skills, man. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, good sir. This was coffee. Uh, good sir. Hold up. I'm pretty sure I just drank dexterity potion. Give me a second. No, I pissed in that cup earlier. There was in a bathroom around when I got it's here. It's your piss. Okay, fantastic. King. Yes, yes. Um. Okay, if you want to try to steal from him, I can just like... Uh, elemental blast him. I can literally hear everything you're saying. I love where you're going with that, but we do need him alive. I have been through the Great War. I have fought dragons. I have raised wizards. I have been here in this land for more than your parents have thought about having you, which is probably not long based on your conversations. You are awful, Ugh. young men. And I've I, heard it all before, man. I swear if you don't bring me my egg, I will not just reward you. I will find you and hunt you down and slay you. Find my egg or else. Now leave my premises. The sooner you start, the sooner you will be rewarded Sir, one and question. not die. Yes, what, what? Where, what direction? Because we could go in a 360 Infernia. direction. We just need to know the direction. Point us in the direction of Infernia and we're gone. Is that so much Out to ask? Building, we're just asking for a little bit of directions. Out the building, go left. You small-headed mind hole. Uh, uh. Out the building, head right. Got it. Rolling to steal from this man. You'd like to roll to steal from the wizard. What is it that you're looking to steal? You're looking for what's in the, in the pockets. I'm gonna roll a d20 here and see what you got. You roll a 13, which is uh, better than your dexterity. So as you reach over, uh, he's sitting there like a like a dumb dumb stinker. He is. You reach in his pocket and pull out a note. You go to read it. It's in language you can't quite make out. English. Hey, but hey, tell me if you know what this means. Do you pass it along? I'm an, a- I'm an AP English. To James. He reads it and it says, oh, yeah. Get lost, suckers. Let's get lost, All right. suckers. All right, he's we're a, in the road then. What do you think it means? Obviously, you guys are not the brightest. Go to the foyer. Okay, it's right down the left, down the hall. Take a right, down the stairs. Go down the corner. Go through the tunnel. Then duck under the little lady. And you'll see my assistant, no- Noji, is there with supplies for your adventure. Uh, Steve of Hatred? Steve of Hatred. What? Do you fly as a dragon? Are you something that we can hop on and just fly? Uh, or is there too it's much It's looking weight? like I don't have any special abilities for flying. Fucking sucking. Okay, so let's head out. You walk out of the hallway, and through the hallway, you see various tunnels and rooms of some sort with screaming and echoes. You pass down the hallway and it gets darker and grimmer as you see vines that are slowly leaking from the from the roof as if they're growing in speeds of years per second as you pass by there's green mist that goes under each door and there's loud ah, uh, uh, operas there's operas that are singing from the doors by I come from a land down under there is a sign that says foyer and the door in front of you do you choose to open that's it that's where we should go well before we go in that whole narration we just uh, felt, all of us, we felt it, was super uh-huh. misleading. It's kind of, I'm starting to feel like this isn't the right way to go. Like Something's wrong! Steve, Dragon, does he breathe fire? Maybe he should melt the door down so we can see I what's inside. I don't breathe fire. I don't breathe fire. James, magic! Let's see what, what uh, our, our wizard has. Um, so, t- Giant Tomorrow, he has an elemental blast, which does an attack damage, and a lightning sword. Uh, the lightning sword also does damage. Should I try to blow it open? Fuck yeah. Okay, I haven't used much of this power, but I feel it on the inside like it's like I'm meant to be. Steve of Hatred, we prepare for battle, we prepare for anything. I'm ready. You ready for it? Even though we have no reason to do this, theoretically. All right, James rolls. He has to get over a a 16 to break down this door, which is pretty easy. He rolls a 7. James, you launch back behind you. Yeah, channeling your inner uh, wizard. You fart for a moment, but that just happens with wizards. And you power through and smash the door as it hits. Uh, It doesn't Ah. rip open. It's kind of embarrassing. You spend a lot of time working on it. It just kind of like cracks for a second and then just... 
I can't, I can't watch. Uh, our, our lovely Stephen of Hatred has already walked in the room and steps on the door. As Stephen of Hatred steps on the door, you hear like, ow, from underneath the door and a squishing. Oh, shit. We've crushed an old lady. Oh, man, was that the super hot assistant? Johnny Tomorrow, lift the door off the old woman. All right. What do you say, Johnny Tomorrow? Uh, uh fuck. Are you hot? You're asking the girl I just stepped on? Well, she dead. I don't know if she's hot or not. She's dead, dude. I'm so, I'm so heavy. Well, you fucking fucked her up, man. Does this look dead to you, dude? Oh, Ugh, God. gross. I'm peeling it off my foot, man. Why do you man? have, like, several different thorns in your foot? Why do you foot? have several different feet on your foot? <laughs> <laughs> you can't, oh, you can't. No, I'm sorry, guys. I just got excited. I thought that the, the dumbass wizard said that she was hot. You can't see Where the hotness of, of the wizard as the door is currently still on her as she screams, ah! Oh, oh, okay, let, oh. let's lift it off. Is she still alive? She's obviously still alive. Lift the door. All right, let's oh. lift it off together. You lift off together? Y yeah, lifted it off. I used your constitution there. Didn't roll great. You lift it off, and uh, and and, and Stephen uh, sneezes and shoots a little fire out and hits hits James' hand, and he goes ow. And then ow, as he fuck. goes ow, he slaps J uh, slaps Keeb in the face, and you guys ah. hit, hit, the, again. The door falls on her and kills her. <laughs> falls on her again against this lady. Please, oh goodness, somebody. Jesus, help I'm me. so sorry. Did you not take an allergy pill, Stephen of Hatred? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her I'm gonna question her as she appears to be not doing so well and also tell her that um miss I, I we might have to just put you out of your misery. Oh she's a baby. Oh it's a baby. Oh my god! I killed a child! It is a six foot baby woman. I'm inquiring to this woman, are you here to help us in any way on this journey? <laughs> I can't understand the bitch. I'm gonna try to rob her. You want me to just fucking knock her the fuck out? So, uh, Kib said he's looking to steal to steal from the baby. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and roll for that. So he's got a, a solid, solid theft going on here. And he does. So Kib reaches into the screaming and crying baby's pockets as you realize that there is no pockets. And you look under the armpits and under the, the toenails. In the diaper? You find a few items. You find a, uh, a rope. You find some rations for the road, some some meals, uh, some, nice. some like meal prep. Like little like gushers, like like quick snacks. Fuck yeah, fruit gushers, baby! You find a chalk and a map to the dragon's graveyard. You have rations for the road, rope, a grapple, chalk, which is kind of a mystical chalk, and a map to the dragon's graveyard. Okay, that's great. If we get hungry on the road, now granted, I am a dragon. Uh, probably I'm gonna eat a lot more than you guys. Well, you can which just is gonna... fucking flame a, a sheep or something, man. Let us eat the normal food. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm not trying to lose weight here. Uh, ration for the road. We got rope Listen, um, dude, you... for a kid to hang himself, and we got a grapple uh, for a kid to hang himself with. <laughs> we have a grapple and a rope? <laughs> and we got chalk for James to draw chalk drawings and then piss on them. For James to draw <laughs> chalk drawings of me hanging myself. And a map to the dragon's graveyard. That's what we need. So, what happens now, gentlemen? Is anyone here particularly good at reading maps? I, tell you, I uh, aced my history class. All right, James, take a peek at that map. As you look at the map, some mystical, it almost is like a 3D pop-up book, and James just, uh, and Kibbs just goes, oh my goodness, it's so colorful. Beep, 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 it up. Just relax, I know it's really colorful. <laughs> it's, it has a big uh, star with like a you are here in Comic Sans and, and you look over uh, on the map itself and there is a, a kind of a, gr a gradient border that goes from like a nice green pasture, a loving sheep and, and beautiful to dark and grim and red and violent Infernia. That's my dome, baby. Okay, so we're supposed to go to Infernia. That's over here. It's his but dome. There's a lot of other cool stuff on this map. Is there a, a, a path, do you think, on that map that um, would be a safer uh, route or a long way versus the short ways or a quick path? Let's identify a route. As you ask that out loud, the map says, recalculating, and on the map appears a, a, a road- Shut the fuck up, Siri. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Calling dad. Oh shit, no, Oh, hang up, hang dude, up. no! Fuck this map, we don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> recalculating. New, new approach. It is now seven hours longer. Oh, fuck. No, I don't want that one. Go back to the other one. Recalculating. It is now a, a six minute walk. All okay. right, go. Great. We're going. Perfect. Let's go. head it. Let's start, start, there. start, start. As you leave the wonderful land of Sunbriar, the green and beautiful, you hear sheep. Ah! bang or something else, I don't know. You you see uh, kids playing and you see parents crying and you walk through and slowly as you approach, the buildings start to, de de start to deteriorate. The buildings start to de de deteriorate. I can't say that word, deteriorate. Deteriorate. The buildings start to slowly and slowly become more and more far apart until the last time that you'd seen civilization was at least minutes ago. 
Very terrifying. This is weird. Your tummy begins to grumble as the ground starts to go from green grass to a red and almost hot rock. And you look out in front of you and you see that the reason why you could walk so fast through is because you have to get through the mountain. The reason that we're walking fast is because we have to get to the mountain? So you could go around the mountain. It would just take a few more extra turns. But you could also go through the mountain, which that's up to Hang you. It's dangerous. Guys, let's talk about this. Okay. Do we know what could be up in that mountain? Like you remember in Lord of the Rings? I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Goblins, but there was a big trolls. spider in the mountain. Yeah. Giant spider. No, I was actually hairy in that. A small man approaches. As he approaches you, he, he lips with some kind of cane, but you can tell that it's been in quite a bit of battle. Hello, children! Back up, you guys! I use imbued magic. Why would you want to use imbued magic? I, I take it back. Thank you, good. Don't use it. Just trying to protect, just trying to protect. Sorry, guys. If you want my advice, then ask, but if not, there's no need to be rude. He starts to walk away slowly. I, I roll to inquire about any information as well as pick his pocket. Dude, you're talking to him while you're picking his pocket? <laughs> Is there a safe path? Is it a safe path? <laughs> <laughs> please, gent mm. gentlemen, please mm. stop. Uh, so I rolled a 19, by the way, which is uh, not good for you. I rolled against the dexterity. So you try to steal from him, and he, he looks over at you and slaps you on the head. It doesn't do ah. uh, any damage to you, but you lose two strength for the next two rolls, judging by the nice knock he had. Don't do that again! I have been stolen from many a times, and mostly from beautiful women, which you, gentlemen, are not, but uh, I'll make do. All right, I'm trying to pick his pocket again. <laughs> he smacks your hand and walks off, and you lost all the information he had about the mountain. Oh, crap! Crap! Stop trying to steal from everyone, man. There could be secrets in everybody's pocket, all right? And it's I just, understand it's that. It's a roll but of let's, the dice. Let's get the information first, and then as he's you're walking right, away, you're right. I'll Fuck. just like... Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I have this lightning-imbued bat, dude. Power of Tomoe! Here's the thing about going through these mountains. We don't have a deadline. He did not give us a deadline. We could go around. Or we could shave off some time, prepare for battle, go up there, roll across our fingers. Maybe we even find some supplies. Maybe we find some extra weapons. Think about this. In every in every horror movie that you've ever seen, I mean, I see of Hatred, I'm watching horror movies night, night and left. And uh, we've got uh, going the shortcut always ends up with getting killed by some beast in a forest. You're the beast, though. Oh, my God, dude. I'm the... That's dope! We should go to the mountain! Steve of Hatred leads the pack as they walk towards the mountain. As they get closer, there is a fart that is heard. Come on, man. And echoes. Like 17 of our farts. And as you're walking through, you see the the, the, the rumble, and there's these rocks that start to, 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 to crumble and roll around as if there's something approaching. And then you look up, and what do you see? Let's roll for it. Uh, ooh, Kib looks up and he says, oh wow, that looks like a nice sunflower and doesn't even notice the, the band of rocks that are falling from the sky. And then pfft, hits all three of you for one HP. You guys lose one HP each. Ow! We look up and we see kids on a freeway overpass. You look up and you see that there is just a, uh, a big mountainy rock face that just has loose rocks that clearly have okay. been moving. And then there's lava that starts to bubble, bubble down uh, the mountainside. Run, just run. Let's just, just run. run. We run, we're running through. Which way are you running? Wait, guys, I have an idea. Wait, Johnny Tomorrow has an idea. Johnny, what's up? No, my idea was bad. It was stupid. I was going to say run towards the lava. Okay, okay. So all three of you run towards the mountain? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, all three of you. I am rolling for a kid. Uh, Kib, you run, but you run real slow. Like you're in a dream where you're kind of running and you feel like you're running fast, but you're not running that fast at all. And then we got our boy. Uh, ooh, we got our boy. Ooh, nice. And you just see James sprinting as ever. He's leaving his friends behind. He's leaving his everything behind. And then uh, somehow a rock goes to fall on his head, but doesn't. Lands in his back pocket. Burns for a second, but honestly, is a, it might be good safekeeping. It has some kind of glowing aspect to it. Guys, hurry up! Come on! We have Steve, and Steve's he makes he makes a nice trudge. He, he runs faster than the kid. But Steve's not trying to break a sweat. Uh oh, a chew. <laughs> I, I choose you. <laughs> uh, Steven sneezes uh, a little bit of fire out. It doesn't burn anybody, but it feels very satisfying. A chew. <laughs> Dude, that's Steve's inner mouth like a xenomorph. <laughs> uh, everyone is shocked and disgusted by what just happened with the dragon. Uh, turns out the dragon was just in a dragon suit the entire time. 
No one's gonna mention it though because well, I'm not a dragon, I'm a shura. So after a few minutes, you guys all, uh, you pass over the mountain, which wasn't as tough as it looked, and you get uh, passed through it and... Look at the view. You, you remember for a moment that there is this quest that you're going on. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Holy shit. What were you doing? You, you hear, you hear the, the, the wizard uh, Magoogly or Zoink's uh, words echoing in your memory. You're looking for my dragon egg, you imbeciles. I'm talking to you on my magic mirror phone. Shut Please. up! Stop. Stop. As you round the bend in the rocky outcropping ahead, you enter the dragon's graveyard. It was believed that dragons came here to die. But as you enter and look around, you realize it's more of a leftovers landfill. Instead of being what does the narrator mean that dragons come here to fucking die? Dude, we brought you here to fucking put you down like a dog, man. <laughs> Chills go down Stephen of Hatred's spine as he, he sees all of the carcasses, but, but really the bones are rather small. You realize that this really is just a place where the dragons bring their uneaten food. So you need to pick someone to roll a perception check to look for the egg. King of Steve has 19 wisdom. I have... Are you kidding me? I only have 10 wisdom, dude. All right. I do the thing that you said to do. Yeah. <laughs> and I nail it. <laughs> I roll, and you notice something across the way. Now, it is not uh, not very clear. There might be a little bit of some kind of red dust floating around. You're squinting as you see it, but you do see something. I think it's a period. That's not, you mean like in a sentence? Yeah. We need someone to also perceive to see if there's anything else weird going on, if there's anything out of the ordinary. I'll do it. Johnny Tomorrow sees uh, bits of dust falling from above. There's still more dust. I think it's just dust. We should just keep walking. Oh. Is this volcano, volcanic ash? Well, yeah, there was lava. Oh my God. Wait, wait, guys. Oh my God, it's all coming together now. We're in a place where dragons bring their food. What if a dragon's bringing his food here and there's a dragon coming? And we have to fight a dragon. And then the dragon thinks we're the food. We run, we just start running the right direction. Let's go, boys. Running the right direction? You gotta choose what that direction is. No, fuck that. We were gonna spread get- Spread out! You all spread out in different directions, six feet apart from each other. Johnny Chimaru, you still got that rock over there? Yeah! That's awesome! All right, we keep running. We're just running right in the right direction. Yeah, we're still running. We're still running. All right, so you run towards this strange red-looking thing that might be able to, s to help you. As you run towards it, Ooh, you all uh, encounter in front of you, there is a ravine, uh, which has quite a, a gap in front of it, and you stop for a moment, but for a second, uh, James uh, almost tries to jump, but kind of trips and falls, and James! he's- James! As James is falling down, he is still like, guy, falling midair, like, guys? Guys? Okay, I take the fucking rope, I attach it to the end of one of my arrows, I shoot it down for James to grab. <laughs> and it shoots me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled for it, and you rolled a an 18. Congratulations. Oh my god. I saved your fucking life! I got it! You shoot the arrow, it ricochets off the side. It ricochets down all the way across, over and over, down below. And the rope just keeps coming out for some reason. You make a small hammock in which James softly lays down on, right below you guys. Oh. I look down at James and I say, Hope you don't fall in love with me after that. I, okay, I, I won't. Thanks for catching me, man. Steven, this is the last turn until we have something happen. King of Steve or Steven choose? of Hatred? Steven of Hatred. That's me. What do you choose to do? I would pull the fucking rope up with James. All right, you have to roll over over a seven. He's not he's not that heavy. Oh, you're trying to pull him up and uh, and he kind of slips for a moment and you guys kind of butt oh. heads and you're like, oh, you drop your books and you're like, oh my, I never realized how beautiful you were as your grasses fall. You go for a kiss for a moment, but you reject each other. Not today. And you pull each other up onto the ledge. Oh, sorry. That whole situation was confusing. What just happened? Did he try to make a move on me as he was saving me? No, you made a move on me. <laughs> well, I was kind of giving you a kiss like on the cheek. Then Steven of Hatred thought it was a kiss on the lips, and it was kind of like a misunderstanding. Well, no, it was a moment of uh, vulnerability. I understand totally. It's, sure, it's, but just, it doesn't I just necessarily want you to know. Like I'm from the '80s, and I definitely like girls. But it's like also obviously it's tough to come out at that point in time. Yeah, you would you wouldn't have been able to come out anyway. Just deep down, if you need to come out to me, obviously I'd be fine with it. Just tell him how you're feeling inside. Just you have to tell you have to come out to me. I won't even listen. As you argue back and forth, you hear a loud. <laughs> There's a dragon in the ravine! As you look down below you, there's nothing in the ravine. <laughs> Rocks just 
echo through and you see a small uh, g- grasping for life animals that that slowly just fall into the ravine oh my god all those animals are committing suicide off the cliff as as you turn around you see a green and and reddish colored dragon screaming <laughs> and echoing ah! into the sky and all the small animals with gouges ripped out from them a half dying fall into the ravine below you there's only one way to he's go he's manipulating the animals choice. wait he talked when he was about to say the only way we could go. <laughs> There's only one for way for you to go. Which way is it? Towards the dragon or over the ravine? I pull out the grapple that I have. Remember, you guys? Oh, Ooh, dude! Oh, nice one! I grapple across the ravine. Roll for it. He left it! He's leaving us here! He lands solid. Kim lands the grapple solid. Nothing. Yes! And and I the rope over, grabs it from below, and makes it a, an extension wire to walk across. Now you need to roll at least a seven or higher to walk across it successfully. I'm 56 tons. Kim, you walk across it. You walk across it. Great. Perfect. Kim, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, Steve walks across it. Uh, 15. Fantastic. And then Steve walks across it. I said Steve like six times. And then James walked across it. You guys walk across it. Just <laughs> nice. To the Wait, side. Johnny nice. tomorrow or James? We all do. Uh, all, all of you walk. Across Everyone, all six far. of us. <laughs> I'm a hero. Wait, can we roll for a high five right now and see if we awkwardly miss it? Wait, hold on. If we can cross it, can't the dragon cross it? He doesn't see you. He doesn't see you yet. Yeah, but we're just trying to escape instead of being stuck in that spot. Did we get the high five or not? Oh, yeah, I'll give you the high five. Uh, you guys got a, a, a decent high five. Eh, oh, it was kind of missed, but it was still like the energy was there. Yeah. You keep going and you notice something across the way. What that little red dot was that, that you saw previously actually looks like some kind of round rock. You approach it and you go to pick it up. Did we ever get those high fives? Uh, you had the, you had it was the okay. Fox. It was they, pretty they good. It wasn't amazing. Cool. Okay. It was so there's a little good. red stone. A little red stone. You ke- you clear the rocks below you and see the dragon's egg. Oh my god! This can't be this easy to get. There's got to be some sort of thing here. Once again, we're still in dragon territory. Hey, wait, hold up. Uh, K- King of Steve. Yeah. Yeah. You uh actually you can just refer to me as King of Me from your perspective, like King of Me. My sure, man. I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm opening up this with a compliment, so it's gonna be. Go for so it. So it's like, all right, king of you. Yes. Or is it king of will you? Am I supposed to say king of me? Yes. Okay, king of me. I'm just thinking that you know, obviously, you've just saved don't us. Don't wake the baby. Don't wake the baby. <laughs> it was a very heroic moment. So I don't think you give yourself enough credit. Obviously, that was we had a huge. Man, you yeah, us. you did a great job, man. Uh, you are yes, always I putting did, yourself down. I. Maybe there isn't something more. Maybe. You did something great, and this is it, and this is your reward, Shut the and you fuck deserve up, it, man. I want the money. Do we have any items? We have some chalk, and I don't know what this chalk does. Yeah, we analyze the chalk to see if there's anything special about this chalk, other than it just being normal chalk. You grab the chalk and you inspect it for a moment. Now, who inspects it? I do. Best intelligence in this in the whole game. No, Kib or uh, Kib. <laughs> you were saying something, uh, Stephen of hatred. No, I was thrown up. He's thrown up. So you guys look at this chalk for a moment, and and sprinkles and and ripples tr- seem to kind of a- exfoliate from the chalk itself. It's kind of like glitter falling off of it. I think we have to push the chalk into the egg and kill the egg. So, uh, you 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 grab you grab the chalk and push it into the egg. Now, instead of actually cracking the egg itself, it seems to go through through the egg and and you hit something in the middle and you hear you see you feel like something behind it like so, something happens from the egg uh, itself cracks open uh, a little he- a little head it begins to hatch the shit. head of the young red dragon peers out of the shell and it cries out the cry is answered by the mother's call from nearby behind you the dragon from before she looms over the group from above uh, the nearby ledge from behind the ravine and peers out it opens up her giant wings you see the gnashing teeth and the giant claws the scars from what seems to be battle within the left eye gouge and slash and most likely blind it's six foot wide and you see a man's head inside the dragon. Guys! Guys! Help! James, sacrifice yourself! Run! As you guys turn to run, we're going to roll initiative. So uh, this is what happens in order. Whose turn goes first? Well, guys, he just said the fucking thing is six feet wide. 
Hello, wingspan of six feet? Yeah, I'm 22 feet That's tall. a very- No, 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 no. The, the, the toes are six feet. It's a giant, like, 50 feet dragon. Oh, Christ, we should run. The mother dragon breathes fire down upon the group. Now, you guys are going to roll for dexterity uh, to take half damage from the breath, but we're going to see what kind of damage this does to you guys. So remember, you can die from this as an actual campaign. So we roll for two, and we roll for a two. So it does four damage, and uh, and that's going to be actually two kip. So uh, ah! are you going to roll for dexterity? I have a special ability. Uh, you're going to use your special ability? Go for it. Um, and you hit it. Okay, so you take half damage. So, Kib, uh, you get hit by fire breath in the shoulder, but you kind of you oh. kind of waddle it off. Fuck. It's not too bad, but you still do see like a first degree burn on your shoulder, Mr. King of Steve. You're now at 25 health. You mentioned that the dragon had a human head inside of uh, the dragon itself, right? Help, guys. I, uh, you guys are from Sugar Pine 7, right? I loved your guys' this show. Oh, it's a fan. Pop, 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 pop. I love you guys' the show. I mean, season one is probably better than the rest of them, but like all of them were pretty good. Well, hey, we Thank tried you, really Thank hard, you. man, the whole time. We really appreciate it. That means a lot. Question for the little kid. Uh, are you a dragon or are you a kid? I I'm a young man. Uh, I work at Applebee's, and I like football, and, uh... uh... No one gives a shit. Are you in danger, or are you the danger? Oh, I... I'm 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 currently pretty dead. Uh, I'm inside the dragon's mouth. I haven't been eaten yet for some reason, but uh, I'm not gonna last okay. much longer. So okay, I shoot an arrow to, at the head to shut it up. <laughs> you shoot an arrow at the man's head. You you hit him right <laughs> in the eyeball, and he dies instantly. Actually, not even instantly. He dies so slow. <laughs> okay, so you killed the dig the guy, but the dragon's still there. He got it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we have uh, leverage. The fucking baby dragon. Oh. We do. Yo! Should we kill it? No. If we give it to the dragon mother, then we can't give it back to the wizard for money. No, because remember what happened in the Lost World? Uh, they gave the fucking thing back and then it pushed their RV off of the cliff anyway. Doesn't yeah. matter. So we need to we need to just hold on to this dumbass and little dragon. And then we dragon. also don't get money and we're dead. Guys, we also have to think about what was the point of pushing that chalk into the egg, by the way? Like, was that just No point at all. No nothing? point at all. I guess it, it screwed just us. made it hatch. It screwed us. Yeah. But now we have a baby dragon. Maybe we can so, convince the baby dragon to be on our side? Actually, I have a plan, a legitimate plan. You remember that guy that wanted this egg to begin with? Yes. So that dragon's not gonna just try to kill us if we have possession of this egg. We bring the egg back to that dude. It's gonna fucking Maybe. burn down the town if we do that dude. It's It'll gonna, follow sure, us. not our problem. Sure. -uh. I don't know, man. I don't know. I was born from hatred, so this is like kind of my thing. For a moment, gentlemen, as you're discussing, uh, the, the dragon still approaches closer and closer, the giant dragon who is pr approaching you to kill you as you talk for three turns. And the baby dragon in Kib's arms looks up and goes, Mama! And then cuddles in, in this uh, King of Steve Steve's arms. Steve's a dragon. Can he communicate with the dragon? Steve Hager tries to communicate with the dragon and communicates pretty well. It's rusty. There's a bit of an accent going on. You guys are going to hear this as English, but obviously to the dragon, it's going to sound like dragon. Okay? Obviously. Obviously, sure. Ask him if he's hungry. Mr. Dragon, do you so many people? Are you hungry too? Me too. The dragon lifts up on his two claws <laughs> and outstretches his wings and says... Die! And out comes the fire from his breath, encompassing you and. Oh, doing. I'm submissive! Five damage to each of you. Ah. As you see, your armor erupts into flames, and actually, the armor from James falls off in front of him, and his chest, ple his chest piece falls to the ground. And then Kib runs around screaming and crying and peeing himself as his hair erupts into flames, and only his hair for some reason. And then, uh, actually, I, I think I think Stephen of Hatred's fine, except then he trips and, and hits his head and does dealt five damage. So I lost my armor. No, ju just your just a, a piece of your armor. All right, so you have one more action, and, and then the dragon goes. I run. run. I'm running, boys. You running with me or not? You all run successfully. You sprint away as quick as you can. The dragon is slowly trudging towards you. The wings flap heavy, but the holes in the wing from the constant battles don't lift the dragon off the ground. But before you slip away, a dragon breath launches out what seems like going on for, for entire football fields doing uh, an incredible amount of damage. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we got to roll two uh, D12s. That's a 12, and then that's also a 1. So it does 13 damage. So it would do 13 damage to all of you. To all of you. Now, that would leave you very close to dead. You'd have 7 health for some of you guys. So is there anything you're going to do to stop that? Oh my god. We have... Do, do our rations heal health at all? It does not. All right, we keep running. We keep running back to the town. With, 
we got the we got the fucking we've got the little dinosaur in one hand and then the fucking T-Rex is chasing us. As you approach, uh, you finally make your way through. Your the, the, your your outfit's full of fire. You are badly burnt, badly disfigured, and then all the kids children are screaming as they look at you as they walk past. Fuck off! And you see finally the the magical the magical place known as the magical uh, city of Carthage. We're at the magical city of garbage. No, of of Carthage. You you walk you walk through the Wizard's Tower in Carthage, which is the ma- magic city in Levendale, and you open up. Oh, actually, the door's already fallen. The kid's just sitting there, still crying. The child. Stop! Stop! Ah! We go back to the old fucking guy who gave us the task, and we present. The dragon. Do you have my dragon? It's right there. Uh, and it wasn't easy. We want double. No, we don't. I wish you wouldn't have told me about your disgusting failure. This is, first of all, not worth double. And secondly, this is not a dragon's egg. Too many people already know that I'm hunting for a dragon's egg. And now I'll have to find another group to finish the task. Unfortunately, I can trust that you won't go around sharing my business. Professor Zoinks turns to face the group as he was sitting uh, with his back behind the group. Suck. His arm shifts and becomes the arm and claw of a bear. Aw, oh, snap. Steve of Hatred, rape the bear. I'm not gonna, did you say rape the bear? I'm not gonna rape the bear, man. Are you kidding me? I said rate him. One, one out of ten. One to ten. Rate the bear. Oh, rate the bear. Rate the bear. I'd give him an eight. Okay. You look around. You see a great collection of magical items to choose from. Nobody would miss just one or two in this situation. You aren't sure uh, that everyone would know what Professor had stashed there. Ah, uh, it's a shame you don't know what it can do, but you know it's the only way to get out of this situation. End of the first episode. Wow. Beautiful. I'm so excited so, we're going to fight wow. a bear. Crazy. Wow. Wow, you guys. Yeah. That was awesome. Oh, cool. Thank so that's you a cliffhanger. So much, dude. That was amazing. You killed. That's a cliffhanger. Uh, it was, we were supposed to battle. We ran out a little bit of time, but the next episode is going to start with a crazy battle with Professor Zoinks. So mm. let us know if you guys want to see more. We'll, we'll sc- script out more of the uh, next episode. It's been so fun playing with you guys. You, you guys yeah, killed it. So Let's fun. try to get 10,000 likes on this next episode. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the next episode. Baby. Right. We're trying to make 10,000 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Parker. This is Thank awesome. So much, of Parker. Course. This has been and so fun. Course. You can check out Here's of Levendale in the description down below. Go follow mm-hmm. Parker. All it is, there's a, it's a real it game. Fun it's a real game. game. Yeah. It's a card and game. This is based- so good. Guys, so this you can story do this that we just did is based exactly on the card game. <laughs> Yeah, there's lore, there's characters. It's like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering, but better and easier to understand. And it's like a party game where there comes with two decks. Anyway, check it out if you want to check it out. Oh, thanks yeah. guys. Drinking? Thanks is there a drinking game part of it? Oh, it's, it's simple kids. math, so you can totally, I say five plus an age, and then five drinks, and plus is all good. That's nice, it. Nice. Five and up for age, uh, five or less drinks to play. Mm-hmm. Cool, Unreal. thanks, Parker. Dude, thank you so much. Go thanks support Parker, this. go follow him. Buy his fucking game, dude. He kills it. Thank you, dude. Love you guys.